Freedom Day offers South Africans a chance to reflect on achievements made since the country's first non-racial democratic elections in 1994. But it is also a chance to assess the challenges that still prevail. Under the current political and economic climate, how do South Africans view this National Day of Importance? Take a look at this insert from Blaine Herman. That is the picture that will go down in history. 27th April 1994, South Africa's first democratic elections. The ANC sweeps to victory. Nelson Mandela elected South Africa's first black president. A seminal moment. To be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. 23 years later, this year's Freedom Day will be special in a number of uh, respects. Uh, in the first instance, as we have already pointed out, we have an economic situation which is showing basically an economic downturn, which has subsequently led to friction not only within political parties, but also among different political parties. This year's Freedom Day celebrations comes at a time when our democratic gains are facing a test not seen since 1994. I, I had to be here today to save our country. And every corrupt official in government must go. But one thing I think that uh, as a country we need to celebrate is that uh, as this political commotion takes place, there is a certain degree uh, of uh, uh, signs showing that uh, our democracy has matured. In the sense that uh, those who are not happy about the current status quo, be it the political situation or the economic situation, have been afforded the opportunity to uh, go to the streets and express their dissatisfaction and anger. Uh, this does not always happen across the African continent. When you say things against the government of the day, or when you say things against the ruling party, usually this is followed by bloodbath. Land, another significant issue leading up to Freedom Day. Political parties have weighed in. Freedom on its own will be meaningless if it does not translate to economic transformation. And then on issues of economic transformation, the first is the access to land. The land is a primary issue when it comes to ensuring that people own this land but also use it for productive uh, purposes. And for us, we'll continue to debate and advocate for a transfer and a transformation of land uh, in our country. We believe we've done a lot. We've learned from the failed program of a willing buyer, willing seller, because the sellers, especially those who own land, frustrated that program. And therefore, we're saying we must move ahead with the process of the Velua General, but that process on its own does not solve all problems. Hence, we're advocating for a transfer of land. Transformation of land should be easy, speed, and cheap. And that's why we're saying the ANC government must consider ensuring the transfer of land. Expropriation of land with no compensation seem to be the only solution to the problems we're facing today. All we are saying, for example, if there is a commercial land and it's productive, now you have workers there, you have those who are claiming the land. What's the point of getting a land which is contributing to our economy? Now you've got a land and you're not using it to benefit our economy. All we are saying is simple. Get those who are workers, for example, in a farm, to have shareholding in that farm. Then with that shareholding, you are now empowering those people financially instead of having a farm and you fail to produce what is already producing in that farm. So what, what we are saying is find means where those who are claiming the land can benefit out of production. Because you mustn't stop production. The constitution of our country has already provided for that because Expropriation is already provided for, but with compensation. And we really believe in that personally. If I express my personal opinion, I think that I, I believe in that because I know that um, in my experience during the days of economic sanctions and so on, having traveled in the West extensively, I know that if um, we say expropriation without compensation, that we will hardly get anyone, say an investor in the West, feeling that 
our country is a safe destiny for the investment. Land must be restored back to those who owned it. But of course, that has got to be done within legislation. And we, we must avoid a situation where our country is taken to anarchy, because we don't need that. But we must speedily, within legislation, and say, let land be restored to those uh, who own it. You know, that land was taken by the minority, and the majority of our people are dispossessed. Within the crucible, of economic downgrade. The question of land is very important because once you restore land, once you give education to our people, training, skills to our people, because that must be factored in as well, uh, show them how to how to plow the land, how to use the land, how to farm cattle, uh, in order for them to enhance their living, in order for them to fend for their families. This time of year is often seen as a period of reflection. South Africans remembering the pain and struggle that went into building a democratic country. To me, freedom means that we have proper roads, we have development that is taking place even in rural areas, like houses and running water, and we are now allowed to enter different places unlike before. Freedom Day means everything to me. Essentially, it's, it's such an important date. It's the day where we gained our freedom. And uh, it, it's really of pivotal importance to people like me and the youth because we're the born freeze. We sit in an area where we can, in an a, a, a age where we can have a say. It's important to celebrate because it's um, another day to bring people together and to remember what we've fought for for so long. And um, it's a holiday, so everyone can have a good time and share their views and thinking about it. And especially at this time, we really need to come together. I think um, the current political instability is really can be a real barrier uh, to the progression of society in general. And it's really important that we uphold the values that we've had in South Africa. The collective goal moving forward an improved quality of life for all. Blaine Herman, SABC News, Durban.